Or 16th and Wells. Kendall, this all started with liverwurst. Right then yesterday, Boar's Head significantly expanded the recall to include 7 million pounds of ready to eat meat and poultry products. Things like ham, salami and bologna carried at local grocery stores like Sendix, Metcalf's and Fresh Time. A massive Boar's Head recall has grocery shoppers. It's definitely scary. Second guessing their usual shopping lists makes me Get a little hesitant to purchase maybe deli meat in general. The deli meat giant is warning customers about 71 of its prepackaged meat and poultry products and meat intended for slicing at retail delis. I mean, it sounds pretty intense. The U.S. Food Safety and Inspection Service traced the multi-state listeria outbreak back to a boar's head plant in Virginia. Symptoms include fever, muscle aches and vomiting and can take up to three months to show up. This is really an illness of immunocompromised people. So if you're over 65, if you're immunocompromised, if you're pregnant, those are the people that are really, or perhaps a small child, you are, you are truly at risk. At Metcalf's in Wauwatosa, a recall notice informing customers that they have pulled recall products and any other products that could have been exposed from the shelves. A similar notice inside the Boar's Head case at Sendix on North Avenue. At fresh time in downtown Milwaukee, boar's head items not included in the recall could be seen on clearance. It makes you not even want to look twice at it. Like maybe we should try again in a few months. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. So Kendall, how do people know if the meat they bought has been recalled? The USDA says it'll have a sell by date ranging from July 29th of this year until October 17th. If you find an item in your fridge, you should either throw it out or return it to where you got it from. The USDA also recommends completely cleaning out your fridge to prevent cross contamination.